I have a big experience in February 13, when uh, about 1,400 Chinese invaded the third division. I was in the company A, and we have Chinese all over. Yeah, they, they came with a, a, a noise, boop, 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 boop. then let the shooting, and they uh, uh, came jumping the fence that we had. Cesar Pavón is known for his devotion to the Latino community through his work with the United Community Center, leading their athletic programs. When I came, I found there was a little house that they called the spa. They started working with them, the kids there, the, 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 they were two gangs, and then with the experience they had, I didn't, you know, I didn't have any fear or nothing. What some don't know, is that Cesar Pavón was also a soldier in the 65th Infantry Regiment during the Korean War. Go to Korea or, or go to, to the service was a benefit because in that time, in that time uh, my family was real poor. Uh, once uh, I was in the service, they were receiving every month $120 for me plus the money that they paid me. Then when I came back, I went to college I became a teacher. The 65th was created in 1899 by the U.S. Congress as a segregated unit composed primarily of Puerto Ricans. It went on to serve meritoriously in three wars, World War I, World War II, and the Korean War. The unit, nicknamed the Borinqueneers after Borinquen, the word given to Puerto Rico by its original inhabitants, the Taino Indians, meaning land of the brave lord. And the army that was, yeah, it was drafted over there in Puerto Rico. Because the Borinqueneers mm -hmm. was a regiment the United States has since 1899. Pavón's unit was one of the most highly decorated units during the Korean War, winning praise from General MacArthur for containing the Chinese advance and supporting the U.S. Marines in the aftermath of the Battle of the Chosen Reservoir. We, we were, when I got there at 3.30 in the, in the morning to Inchon, we landed there, and that was cold. At the same time, we had to go down to the little boat, you know, in a rope all the way down. And then we got there, they took us to the shore, and then we went all the, to, to, to the wasting water. After a long-fought campaign by Borinquenir families and friends, Pabón and his unit were awarded the highest civilian award bestowed by the United States House and Senate, the Congressional Gold Medal, on April 13, 2016. What would you like for Chiquillos? Well, I have so many opinions in my life, but this is a great one because, you know, when I went to Puerto Rico, now they put me over there in, in activity that one of the, the athletes, the, they call uh, Hall of Fame in, in my hometown, and they came with a beautiful activity, you know, a lot of food, a lot of people there, friends that I never saw before for many years. So this over here, was, <laughs> I feel proud. Uh, and then I thank all the organizers, you and all the people working in this, and the people around here, because it's something that, well, I, I, I know that, you know, you see all the plaques I have been getting a lot of recognition, but this is special for me, this is the, the highest one. Mm -hmm. <laughs>